All right, guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, I've got something really, really different today, uh, and you're gonna find out what it is up next. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, I have a little bit of a collab uh, brew today from Stillwater. And uh, they brewed this beer with uh, Casita Cerveceria. Uh, the beer is called On Fleek. And it's an imperial stout. And it clocks in at 13% alcohol by volume. Uh, this beer is no joke. I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to show you guys all about this crazy beer. It's like pouring oil into a glass. It really is. It's got that, uh, it's got the viscosity uh, of just a really solid beer. Again, this is the Stillwater on fleek Imperial Stout. Um, you know, pouring it right out uh, of the can, you can see, like I said, you can see that really sort of viscous nature to the beer. Uh, you're looking at it, um, it's pitch black, although you can still see some nice carbonation uh, around the edges of the glass. That head is all sorts of dark, tan, um, almost like, man, yeah, dark tan. I'm, uh, I rarely get to see a head like that, do you know what I mean? So let's see what it smells like. Mmm. Yep. This is your classic imperial stout aroma. You get lots of maltiness to it. You get lots of like roasted notes. You get some like cocoa powder sort of aromas. And yeah, there's there's definitely an alcohol presence to the aroma as well. Whew. Um you know, it's been a long time since I had my first one. This came in a, a six pack. Uh, I believe I had two. Uh, I got a whole bunch of new beers, kind of threw them into the refrigerator, pushed these all the way to the back. And I just recently rediscovered it in the in the uh, refrigerator tonight. So I said, I might as well get it on video to show you guys. So let's see how this thing tastes. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. It's very pleasant uh, to drink, which sounds strange to say when you're talking about this thick 13% alcohol by volume beer. It's up front, it's very sweet. Um, I don't get much in the way of that really boozy presence that I uh, that I've noticed with a lot of other you know higher than 10 or 11 percent alcohol beers it's silky smooth oh and it goes down really really easily um, you get this sweet presence it's it's like a same thing like a cocoa you get very faint roasted notes to the uh, the cocoa or like a light coffee presence. I don't know if it's that, that that's from like the roasted qualities to it. Um, yeah, and then after a little bit, you can start to kind of feel those uh, vapors coming through from the alcohol presence. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't necessarily know if... Yeah, I could do like a little bit of a black licorice sort of of undertones, but that's not anything that's upfront or or super noticeable. A little bit of a, a little bit of a burp there, and yeah, there's no aftertaste there either, which is really nice. Yeah, I think now that the. Um, now that that black licorice 
is is in my mind that might be the sort of the the sweetness that you're tasting up front hmm it's all around a really really exceptionally made imperial stout um I'd say it's got uh I'd say it's got a heavy mouth feel um, this is, I, I'd say this is an easy, heavily bodied beer, which is not something that I, I verbalize very often with these beers that I have. Um, the alcohol is well concealed. It's not like it's, you're not laboring through these sips of the beer. You know what I mean? Although I do have a, a high suspicion that you are going to feel this beer, especially in a 12 ounce can, you know, it's not it's not going to take you super long to get through a 12 ounce can and then you're going to just you're going to be left with the uh aftermath of of 13 percent alcohol do you know what i mean yeah um very good very good this isn't going to be a hard beer to finish it it might not be as easy of a beer to finish as the other ones i've had on the channel but it's not going to be hard uh, nonetheless, um, yeah, this was the Stillwater on fleek. Uh, overall, very enjoyable beer. Just a titch on the sweet side, um, but I think those malts do it well um, with the alcohol concealment and the overall enjoyment of the beer. So, speaking of which, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed uh, rediscovering this beer in my refrigerator and putting it on film for you. So hit that uh, thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.